What's going on everybody? David here. Today we're going to talk about the City Double Cash card. But first off on this channel we talk about inspiring people to travel more using points. If that sounds like something interesting to you, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the little bell notification so you can get future updates on my videos. Okay, so the City Double Cash card. We're going to talk about this card for 2020. We'll see if there are any changes. Uh, this is really a good card for when you're just starting out. Uh, even if you're not into travel credit cards or anything like this, this is a cashback card, but it, it's a great card to start off with uh, if you want to work with the city ecosystem. So uh, the first thing I always look at is the annual fee. The annual fee on this card is zero, so there's no annual fee. So that's good. A zero annual fee cashback card. Now, looking at some of the other things like the earn possibility on this card, you're looking at it's it's very simple. It's like uh, the Venture card where you're getting two points for every dollar spent on all purchases across the board, and that's unlimited. And basically the way that this works, so it's a little different than the Venture card where the Venture card will give you two points for every dollar spent. This one will give you one point when you make your purchase, and then one point when you pay at least the minimum balance. Uh, so that's how they work this out. This is, I mean, it's, you should be paying your credit cards off in full every month, and so, don't even think about just doing the minimum. If, if that's what I tell people when it comes to these cards, when it comes to rewards, credit cards, cash back, travel, travel points and miles and all that stuff, you want to make sure you pay it all off because if you're paying any interest with this card, you're just paying, you're just giving them all these points that you're earning. You're just giving it right back to them. Uh, so you want to make sure you don't fall into the trap and you, you notice that it says the minimum amount, right? You just need to pay the minimum amount. No, you need to pay the full amount, okay? Whatever posts, that's what you need to pay. So uh, you get two points for every dollar spent. So I think that's a real good benefit there. You also get a 0% intro APR on balance transfers uh, for 18 months. Now, I do not recommend doing this unless you absolutely have to. Uh, if you're really trying to pay down a credit card, then it makes sense to do that. Uh, but you should kind of stay away from that. You don't want to get stuck because you look at the interest on this on this, this card. It can be from 15% uh, to 25%. So if there's any situation where you cannot pay that all off, uh, whatever that transfer balance is, well, then now you're looking at a hefty uh, interest that you need to pay back on the, on the card. So, And then again, we're looking at that same situation where you're earning points on the card and then you're just giving those points away because uh, you're, you're paying all this interest. Uh, so just something to think about. Make sure you're able to handle that balance transfer before you, you make a, a big decision like that. So now I wanna talk a little bit about redemption. So the options to redeem. Uh, and this is where the card really shines because in the in the past it was just a cashback card, right? So you can do the cashback, direct deposit, uh, or check. But now you can convert it to points. So you can convert it to thank you points, which I think is really good. So now if I have a City Premier card or a City Prestige card, I can transfer my points from the double cash card up to one of those accounts, to one of those thank you points accounts. And now with the thank you points, I can use the transfer partners in the travel portal. So that's something that is really good that that, that city is now doing. It's much like the, the Chase of Freedom and the Chase Freedom Unlimited cards where you can do the same thing. You can transfer uh, those points up to the Chase Sapphire Reserve and the Chase Sapphire Preferred. Uh, so it's good that that city is now doing that. And this is an excellent card for, for that. So... Uh, that really that really works out. I mean, in my mind, this is a better card than the Chase uh, Freedom Unlimited. I still like the Chase Freedom card only because you get the five uh, five point uh, categories and it rotates. So I, I do like that. But this is definitely a card that if you do spend a lot, you don't have to worry where you're spending that money. Where if it's at a grocery store or if it's at the gas station or or what have you, you're gonna get two points as long as you make your payments on time. Some of the other features that they talk about here, so you have the contactless pay, which you're gonna pretty much see on all credit cards now. Uh, digital wallet, so you have that in 24 hour customer service. Customer service is a key, that's really big, especially if you're traveling outside the country. Uh, you wanna make sure you, you have that 24 hour, 24 seven customer service, so if you do lose your card or something like that, you can, you can call them and then have them uh, send you out a new card. Uh, so it's good to to see that they have the, the 24 hour customer service and i'm not I, I haven't used city in a while i do i did have a couple of city cards i have one city card right now uh, but in my experience in the past when i did have i had the city premier card uh, back in the day uh, customer service was not that good so i'm hoping that their customer service is better now uh, but uh, yeah it's definitely good to see that they do have customer service 
24 seven. Okay, so my overall opinion when it comes to this card, I think it's a great card, especially like I was saying earlier, if you're a beginner, if you're just starting out, this is a definitely a good card to get. It's a good cashback card. It's a good card to have in your wallet, regardless of, of if you want to travel or not. So I think it's good for that. I do like the two point categories where you don't have to really think about it. You can just go ahead and spend your money. Uh, so that's good. And then the fact that last year they changed it to now they're working with the with the transfer partners where you can transfer your points up to the City Premier, City Prestige, I think is an excellent option uh, for people. Especially if you just start out, you can get this card, use it, earn all those those points, and then jump up and get the City Premier or the City Prestige card. And you'll have points with it with a double cash card that you can transfer up and, and use it for a trip. Uh, so I just think that's great. But more importantly, I want to know what you guys think. So please let me know what you think about the double cash card. Do you have the card? Do you like it? Do you dislike it? Please let us know down below. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye.